Hi parents, I'm Elaine from Great Solution Jimmy Mess. Thank you for watching part 2 of common PSLE questions that involve ratio. In this series of tutorials, I will be covering ratio questions with a difficulty level ranging from 1 to 3, with 1 being the easiest. In this particular video, we will be looking at level 2 ratio questions. If you'd like to take a look at level 1 ratio questions, do check out my previous video. So, what does a level 2 ratio question look like? Today, we'll be looking at a key concept called equal difference. The main idea is that the number of units removed or added to all parts of the ratio is the same. Let's take a look at a question from Taunan School Prelim paper last year, and it is worth 2 marks. There were 34 red candies and 18 yellow candies in a jar. An equal number of red and yellow candies were removed from the jar. The ratio of the number of red candies to the number of yellow candies became 5 to 1. How many red candies were there in the end? Now, the key concept of this question, as I've mentioned, is equal difference. Since the same number of red and yellow candies were removed, the difference between the number of red and yellow candies should remain the same. Let me explain this in simpler terms. Say you have $20 in your wallet and I have $10. The difference between us would be $10. Now, say you spend $5 and I also spend $5. You'd be left with $15 and I'll be left with $5. Let's look at the difference between us. 15 minus 5 is still 10. Which means that the difference before and after is the same. Since we both spend the same amount of money, both our totals dropped by the same amount. Therefore, the difference between us is still the same. And this is what we call equal difference. So let's come back to the question. The number of red candies and number of yellow candies were 34 and 18 at first. After an equal number was removed from the jar, the ratio became 5 to 1. Now, since we are comparing the difference, we have to add a column for difference and do our calculation. 34 minus 18 gives us 16. And 5 minus 1 gives us 4. So this becomes a bit problematic because the difference here and the difference here is not the same. So how do we make this the same? We multiply the entire ratio by 4. In doing so, we would have 20 to 4 to 16. And let's double check. 20 minus 4 is 16. So now we have made the difference the same. And we can go on to answer the question. How many red candies were there in the end? And the answer is reflected here, there are 20 red candies in the end. Now let's take a look at another question that involves the same concept of equal difference. This question is taken from SCGS prelim paper from last year and it is worth 3 marks. At ABC Bookshop, there were 3 times as many pens as rulers. After selling an equal number of pens and rulers, there were 5 times as many pens as rulers left. Given that there were 35 pens left, how many pens and rulers did ABC Bookshop sell all together? Now the key concept of equal difference should also be applied here because we can see that an equal number of pens and rulers were sold. So the difference between the number of pens and the number of rulers should still be the same. To start, let's write down the ratio in the before and after situation. 
At first, the number of pens to rulers was 3, 2, 1. After an equal number of pens and rulers were sold, the ratio became 5 to 1. Since we are comparing the difference, we should add a column for difference and do a quick calculation. 3 minus 1 equals to 2, 5 minus 1 equals to 4. So once again, we have a little problem here because the number of units in the difference column is not the same. So our job now is to make the number of units here and here the same. 2 can become 4 simply by multiplying by 2. Now when we multiply the ratios, we have to remember to multiply throughout. That would give us 6 to 2 to 4. And there we have it. We have made the difference equal again. So now we can go ahead to answer the question. Given that there were 35 pens left, how many pens and rulers did ABC Bookshop sell all together? Since there were 35 pens left, we know that 5 units equals to 35. Therefore, 1 unit equals to 7. The number of pens before and after dropped by 1 unit. So that's 1 unit here. While the number of rulers also dropped by 1 unit from 2 to 1. So that's another 1 unit sold. Therefore, we know that a total of 2 units were sold. And 2 units would be 7 times 2, 14. And that's our answer to this question. I hope this tutorial was easy for you to understand. In my next video, I will be explaining level 3 ratio questions. In the meantime, if you have any questions for me or any suggestions as to what topics you'd like to see me explain in upcoming videos, please leave a comment in the comment box below. Also subscribe to this channel for more free tutorials.